Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 11.40 in Honolulu, 4.40 in New York on Monday, Veterans Day, 11th day of November, 2024, and this is the Evening Report for Gold and Silver. Although it has been far from a parabolic fall, after the tremendous rise we have seen in gold over the last Two weeks and one day, today being Monday, we have seen gold go from just over $2,800 to current pricing at $2,626. But the total price decline for gold in the last two weeks and a day has been approximately $174, going past the 38.2% Fib retracement at $2,631 based on the move beginning from $2,350 up to $2,800. Interestingly enough, dollar strength was prevalent as gold continued to move to the all-time record high above $2,800. However, dollar strength has been one strong component of gold selling off by $174. The dollar gained substantial ground today from 104.89 to 105.34. Because gold hit our target for what we're calling the A wave, we believe that there is a high probability that the A wave could have run its course. We sent out a trade alert this morning recommending that you enter a long position in December gold. It only has a couple of weeks, so we're looking at this as a short play. We entered at 26.21. Gold is currently trading at 26.26. We have a stop at 26.12. The low today was 26.17. We will monitor this trade closely to raise stops if it does move in our desired direction. We are looking at a daily candlestick chart of our most current Elliott wave count. We are assuming that our impulse phase we are assuming that our impulse phase has concluded. We hit our fifth wave back on the last day of October, and we believe that gold has or is very near to concluding its A wave, which means that we are expecting a counter B wave. Typically, on a B wave, we would expect gold or any commodity to move anywhere between 50 and 75 percent the price decline of the A wave. If that's the case and if we have correctly predicted this A wave, we could see gold move back to as low as 2724 and as high as 2750. This last chart is a one hour Henkin Ashi chart. It shows that we did see a potential bottom in gold at about 2660. It was short term, taking gold to only about 2715. However, based upon our initial target was that gold would correct during the A wave to about a 38.2% retracement. Once gold began to trade below that and on this hour chart you can see that we had diminishing candle size in the red and our pivot from red to green. That is when we actually placed our trade and entered at 2621 as I said with a tight stop at 2612. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.